Welcome back, everybody. Um, it is Tuesday, July 2nd. Uh, tomorrow is the 3rd. Last Saturday, we were going to run Jun Junction. I changed my mind, and I decided to register for the Hawsey, uh Memorial up in Norfolk. Pays 3500 to win. You got to qualify in. Uh, qualify for position in the heat races. If you don't finish one and two, you run a B. And that decides where you finish. Or where you start in the feature. Sorry. So right now what we're doing is I'm getting tires. Putting air in tires. We're getting the car ready. Just got a few things to do. And uh, we'll be able to uh, pull our boats out and back the trailer in and load it up real quick. Um, boats are in here because it's the 4th, it's a holiday, we're off the following weekend. Um, we wanted to run the show, uh, wanted to do something a little bit a di little bit different. And uh, thankfully I had everybody support the idea, which made it possible. And um, so we're getting geared up for tomorrow. We're gonna leave around here at 10 o'clock. It is a three hour drive um, up to Norfolk. Weather is very shady. Um, we've had a lot of rain. They've had a lot of rain. We're supposed to get maybe some more rain tonight, um, but rain for tomorrow has been pushed over to Thursday on the 4th. Um, so happy holidays and uh, thank you to everyone. Um, watches the channel who supports us I know content has been very shy uh, this summer and um, we uh, we have some transitions we're going through right now as far as all of us and uh, our program what we're doing here and um, uh, like for instance this car is down on all fours because it is very close to ready uh, Isaac's been working his tail off. Um, he had the option to run this show, and um, we had a, a kind of a discussion. And with a, it being a new car to him, with a new setup, everything, uh, he he uh, wasn't afraid. He was just a little, like, too soon. And uh, I totally get it. I'm, I've been running for four years, and, you know, it's kind of like, wow, this is... this. We don't get big shows that pay this much here in Nebraska. We don't. We don't have shows that pay this much money for crate racing. So this is a big deal. Um, the last time I heard there was 40 something, maybe 50 cars registered. That's what I heard. I don't know. It could be higher 30s. Um, but with, without further ado, we're, we're pretty excited. And, um, and we got a lot of people supporting us and chassis builders backing us, Audi, which is awesome. And that's really, that's really empowering because you know, stuff like this, um, I'm only 21 shows like this. I've never, I've never been a part of, I've never gone through the motions. So this will be the first one. Um, we ran silver dollar. Yeah. And that was kind of a, that was a bigger show that it was, but I mean, I didn't even, I didn't even make, I broke. So it really wasn't anything to take home. And I feel like I had a fast car then. And uh, had we not broke the rear end, uh, who knows where we could have, maybe would have made the show. Maybe would have finished really good. I don't know. But uh, we got our boats out, um, headed to the lake for the holiday weekend after we go racing. And so that's kind of what's been going on. So basically, uh, this is where we're at and this is what we're gonna do. So let's get her done.
made it to North Fork here, uh, off-road speedway as they call it. Got unloaded. It's a very hot and humid day, I'll tell you that. I uh, expected a lot of cars to show up to the show. Uh, met some people who are a fan of the channel. That was freaking awesome. Uh, props to those guys for walking over and saying hi. So now we're just waiting for hot laps and yeah. a week after uh, the 4th of July. Today is Thursday. Uh, we are out and about. Uh, I didn't quite get to my car as fast as I wanted to on this week. Uh, after the 4th, there sort was of stuff that was going on. We ended up going to the lake and uh, had stuff to put away and all that stuff. So getting the car out now assessing the damage um, as you can tell the car is it's stuck uh, 
it thinks we're flying around the corner at 50 miles an hour right now. So, uh, it's pretty safe to say the car's bent somewhere, and uh, bent pretty bad. So, the goal is just to get it all washed up, and we got Isaac out here washing his car. It had shop dust on it, so they wanted to get it cleaned up. Uh, it never got washed after the last time it was ran, so he's cleaning it up, making it look nice. So, uh, get after it. Oh, sorry. The ones that got melted? Yeah. Yeah. Not those <laughs> what? The air cleaner ones. That's your change of underwear when you was, uh -huh. or when you was crafting when the car was on no. the car. You make this a lot of work. I know I do. Way more work than it has to work. be. No. <laughs> I could just cut you completely out. Of this no, whole ordeal forever that, I'm and comedian. this my job would go like from here to here group. thank you very much he's not wrong, he's not wrong. <laughs> five down back there <laughs> hey you know it works better when it's on right i know just letting it down so hey hey what that's a rookie <laughs> his first time. All you have to do is soak it and then get away. Have you anybody ever seen an elephant <laughs> in the wild? That's what it looks like. More like a sloth. <laughs> Sad? <laughs> hey, don't call me that. Nah. I'm going to start calling you Mr. Grinch. <laughs> so, like I was saying before, uh, you know, we, uh, we tried to get out of our comfort zone a little bit, go to a track we'd never been to, and, uh, me as a driver, I'm so used to a tight car and turning the car and, uh, using the motor as much as I can to turn the car, and maybe that's a bad habit of mine, I don't know. Uh, we talked to Audi about getting that car freed up, and we got it freed up. Uh, it turned, like, on a dime, and I really wasn't ready for it. And, um, coming out of two there, it, it, uh, cracked sideways on me, and I gathered it up and collected 49, I guess you could say, and then they sent me to the back, even though it was... I don't know, not necessarily my fault, depending on who you talk to, um, but we uh, got it looked over and got some ideas what we're going to do. First things we're going to do is get it started again. Um, what caused the car to burst in flames, which, you know, as a driver, you got your hood on and you got your fender and all I saw was this door, body damage. So I'm thinking I'm good and I sit there. And uh, I actually started the car and it ran for probably 30 seconds before it um, pumped all that fuel everywhere and it finally ignited. So the car got hit and bent and it pulled this apart. And then basically as the car ran, it just pumped fuel everywhere and it was running on the fuel that was still in the bowls and uh that's why that's what caused it to ignite in flames and you know i i didn't know anything of that nature you know i i just i just made a big mistake and well i felt stupid for what i'd done and i fired it up and i knew that that was my last caution and I was really just going to drive it back into the pits and I literally put my hand on the shifter and I went to go put it in gear and it blew up and then it was power off and belts window net and out as fast as I could and um, I don't think I've ever felt a fire that hot before on my knees so that was that was I really don't want to ever feel it again but uh, that's the first, um, I, uh, yeah, it's kind of, 
it's kind of sore, but at the end of the day, it's like, holy cow, we got this thing to turn. Uh, we got it freed up. And, you know, it looked good and it felt good. And there was just some minor details that we should have changed, what we should have done, what we should have left alone. Um, so we're going to get the wheels back on this, get it loaded up. And back in the trailer, um, we got to get a shock in here other than the shock that was in it. Um, we got to get one of our load shocks put in here and uh, so that we can get it back in the trailer and uh, get it in the shop. We uh, spent a day rearranging to get this in there. It's uh, got its own little spot for a couple weeks and uh, I don't know if Isaac has any plans on going racing. Um, JJ, is out with a blown motor still. Um, my dad, we're still putting his car back together. Uh, we got the SB2 in it. Now we're cleaning and dry some stuff. Um, we're gonna work at it as fast as we can. Um, and basically, we're we're down to one. <laughs> so I don't know, different year. Um, not much you can do about it. It's just one of them years. So, uh, get to it. <laughs>